Hey guys, it's Tom from Care Me Now, and I want to show you how to quickly turn a horizontal video, landscape orientation, into a vertical video if you want to post it to, let's say, Instagram Reels or TikTok or something where people are generally going to be looking at it from their phone. You want to do it quickly, and you've already created the horizontal video. There's a quick way to do it in DaVinci Resolve. What we're basically going to do is we're just going to split the top and bottom and have one clip on the top, one clip on the bottom, and we're gonna reuse a lot of the work we did to make the original video. If we're gonna start out by creating a new timeline, make sure you click on the bottom here where it says use project settings, so it's off, so we could put in our own settings. Change the resolution to custom, and then 1080 by 1920 for vertical format, uh, frame rate, whatever frame rate we're going to use. In my case, I'm using 23.976. Going to create, oops. Let's go back to the first one. Select all and control C to copy. And then once we're in the new one, control V to paste it. Obviously, this isn't exactly what we're looking for. We want this to have a video on the top and a video on the bottom. And we're going to put some transitions in. The way I do it is I select every other clip and you could fine tune this later on depending on how you see but let's see what we're going to do first all right i'm not going to have you watch me click each one so okay now i have every other clip selected starting from the first i'm just going to drag this up to the another video channel so we have all the videos on two different channels every other one on a different channel and now we're going to select all the clips and change the zoom now to 1.6, which is what works with two videos here. Okay. Now we're going to select just the top ones. We're going to change the Y to 1500. You'll see that puts them on the top half. And we're going to select the bottom ones. And we're going to change that to minus 1500. And... We'll see it puts some clips on the bottom. Okay, but if we play it now, and let me turn off uh, color grading, and let me just mute this for now. So what we see is we have one on the top and then one on the bottom, and this doesn't look too cool. So let's try to get them to look a little better. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to extend it. We're going to start with the one sliding in. And we're going to extend that so it fills in the space. We're going to keep the first blank open here. Just going to do that all the way for all the clips. And we want to make sure we have a little bit of a tail left. Oops, and this one. This one didn't have a lot at the end, so... Uh, we're gonna have to change that. So this one, we're all the way at the end here and that's not good because we can't put it in transition. So I'm gonna go to this, I forget what this tool is called, the trim edit mode by hitting T. I'm just gonna slide this over. You see that little end coming off the right of that clip? I wanna make sure there's enough to put a transition there. Okay, I'm gonna hit A now to go to the normal arrow and then going to keep going like this. So now if I play it, let's see what that looks like. So it alternates videos on top and then on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going and do the rest of them that way. Okay, I was hoping to find an example here of where I had a very short clip that this wasn't working on. But the way I shoot, I'm, a lot of times I'll shoot at 60 frames per second and then I'll slow it down. So I, I have plenty of work to work with. But let's say we had a clip that was too short to stretch it out the way we needed to. We could just do is go, change the clip speed, change it to like, try 90%. And if that doesn't give you a long enough clip, try 80%. And I shouldn't 
that should give you enough to work with. Another thing to remember is if you try to lengthen a clip and all the ones following it move to, you can hit Control Z to undo. And then the reason it's doing it that is because you're in trim edit mode. Just need to go back to selection mode by hitting A again. So when I'm doing this, I just have one finger close to T, the other finger close to A. So I'm ready to switch between the two in case I need to. So, and this goes pretty fast. Okay, we got them all done. Now for the last one, I'm gonna do something different. I'm just gonna center this and have it fill up the whole frame. And then we're gonna end both clips at the same time and go into this. Okay, so now if we play this, we'll see that it just goes from clip to clip with no transitions. It looks, it's pretty decent. It fills the vertical space so we could post this on Instagram as a reel or on TikTok and it'll fill in the space. And if I unmute the track, we'll see it still syncs to the music. And the reason it does that is we use the clip boundaries, you know, to know where to stretch it out to. So that went pretty quick. Now let's make it look even better and add some transitions. So let's first select the top one. And I like to use push. You could also use slide, but I like push better. So we'll select all the top ones and then we'll add to selected points. Okay, now we're getting this warning here. Some of the clips have insufficient handles to apply the transition. This is what I was talking about where you need to make sure you have enough of the clip ending past the cut point. So the best thing to do here is hit skip clips and then look where, where are we missing a transition. Okay, right here. So if we deselect and then click on this one and hit T, okay, we can see we didn't have the handle there. All right, so that's pretty good. And now we could go in there and add this transition right there. Let's look at what that looks like if we start from the beginning. Now, even the first clip fades in, bottom ones aren't pushing in because we haven't done anything, but it's a nice effect where it pushes one clip pushes the next one out. Now let's do the same thing to the bottom one. Again, we're going to select all the bottom clips. Oops. We're going to go to push and we're going to right click on that and we're going to select add to selected edit points and clips. Again, we're getting some that aren't long enough. So that's this one right here. Deselect, hit T, and then just slide that over a little bit. Now we could add that in here. Okay, now we want to have a look at what it looks like. So it's pushing in, and it's pushing in. And it's all pushing in from the left, which maybe that's the look you're going for, but I kind of like it to push in different directions. So let's select all these bottom clips and then drag and drop a push somewhere on here. And when we do that, oops, we're actually missing another one. Let's see, aha, we do have a clip that's not long enough, right? No, we do. All right, so we'll just slide that over a little bit and we'll add the push there. Okay, so now again, A, to make sure we're in selection mode. And we'll drag and drop a push just anywhere on any of these transitions, it doesn't really matter. And the only reason we're dragging it on there is so that now, if you notice, there's a little red line against only the transitions. So now all the transitions are selected. So now we could go up to the inspector on the top right. And if you don't see the inspector window, just hit the inspector button on the top here and then go push right. And then let's change the ease to ease in and out. And let's change the ease on the top one too. Again, we're gonna push. We shouldn't have to change the color grading, but we do need to go into the color tab. Let's start with the front clip. And then we need to check the stabilization. 
So if we're using the stabilization on any of these clips, and in this video, it doesn't look like I really did. You don't need to click on each individual clip. Once you click on one, if you use the up and down arrows on your keyboard, it'll move you between clips. Okay, so here's one we have stabilization on. So all we need to do is just click the mouse on the stabilize button. And that's gonna reduce stabilization for the longer clip. If we don't do it, it's gonna, it's probably gonna look a little messed up, especially where we added the new clip. So we just click the down mouse button every time we see these purple and green lines on here. It's going to hit the stabilize button and it goes very quick. At least on my new PC it does pretty quick. Okay, and that's all of it. So like I said, all the color grading is going to be the same as it was in the other video. If you want to look through, make sure all the transitions are fine. This, I'm just doing it for an example, so I'm not really going to look into it. But this is a pretty quick way of doing it. And now you have a vertical video that you could post to TikTok, you could post to Instagram as a reel, and it's gonna fill up the whole phone screen. So let's deliver this. So I, this is my preset for this. So uh, MP4, H.264, native, resolution custom, 1080 by 1920, match frame rate to our timeline, 20,000 kilobits per second, auto encoding, frame reordering, so audio. Sometimes we get a problem with the audio, so double check to make sure you have AAC on 92 kilobits per second, 4800, and then just pick a location, hit add to render queue, and then render all to render your clip. Now the rendering should take about twice as long as the horizontal video took, just because we're rendering two videos at a time, and it's the same length, but we're creating twice the work. If you're using noise reduction and stuff like that, it'll be a little slower. This is the finished vertical video converted from a horizontal video. If you found this tutorial useful, please click on the like button. I'm gonna try and post more photo and video related content, so please subscribe.